Uh, hello, everyone. It's Monday's Safari Wrap. Yes, we're both wearing mm. Kikoyas. We're very, 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 very fashionable young men. And we don't have any viewers yet, Sam. How long right. do you think it'll be? Probably five, four, four three, two, two one. one. No, you have your first viewer. No, you no, don't. No, our connection is weak, though. Mm. How should we start, though? Our well, connection is very weak. They can't hear us. There's two viewers. Oh, we've got, got two, two viewers. viewers. There you go. But our connection is weak. Mm. Unfortunately, that's one of the things about having internet in the bush. Mm. Sometimes the connection is mm. weak. It's not easy. It's really not easy. Did you see that? What is that? Like a blue likey thing floated across our faces. How did it do that? I don't know. Someone liked your like. Oh, look, 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 there's two more blue. Oh, here we go. Thumbs across. <laughs> hi, Barbara. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Gabby. Nice to see you this mm -hmm. evening. Nice. Hello, Eleanor. Eleanor. We've got 50 15. people. That's quick. Hi. A live video. It's only been Hi, D. Whoa, no, look at seconds. this. is new. I just updated the Facebook app. Now I've got thingamabobs flying past me. <laughs> so Smiley nice. faces popping up in front of us. People are using emoticons to react to your video, Brent. Wow. I don't know. Uh, Geraldine is giving a lecture. <laughs> Apparently, people are using emoticons to react to the yeah, video. Yeah, I can see it. It's, it's so distracting. Mad. I keep watching. I must keep. I must start watching what people are saying rather than all the flashing things. Yes. So, Chris, <laughs> Chris, we did go look for some of those hyenas today. We didn't find them. There were three this morning that just ran across before we were live, and then we couldn't find them again. So, I'll go tomorrow morning and see if I can find some of those hyenas. Hi, Lisa from Syracuse. Robin. Ellen, Kat, Linda, Laura, great to have you all with us. And D, hearts for you both. Oh, thanks, thanks so Barney. Much. Yeah, that's really nice. I can see hearts flying across. Yes, there's lots of hearts. Um, hi, Isabella, Gail, and Mike and Kathy. Yeah, you finally caught the live feed. Welcome, Welcome Jen. Jen. So this has been going for a while. You have 130. Well, we 150. Nice. We're going quickly now. Hey, John, my birthday is only tomorrow, so thank oh. you, though. We're going to have to have a celebration for Sam Wise's birthday. He, how old are you turning, Sam? Turning 26. 26. Ah, he's going to start becoming like the rest of us. He's going to be too old to be young and too young to be old. Too old to be young and, and too, too Wait, too old to be young and too young to be old. Yeah, so it's just quite, in that middle phase. It's just awkward phase. Well, yeah. I quite enjoyed my time during that phase. Yeah. 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 Let's see what else. Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Uh... My favorite wildlife or nature book? Hmm. Well, that's a very good question, Dawn. I think I've got quite a lot. You've got um, loads, don't you? you yes, a lot. So I literally have a pile of books. And, and, but I think um, a nature book, wildlife book. Hmm, I'm, I'm not sure. I have to think about it. I'll hmm. think about it. I need some books, so I might just go and take it's some books. You're more than welcome to come look on my shelf. Can we get some info, info on Sindile? Uh, so Sindile was uh, before. Uh, Sam's time, you know about Sindile. Was it the leopard that, that was? grabbed the rabid, yeah. uh, the rabid dog? Yeah. Uh, so far as I know, he is uh, still at Moholo Holo. Now, I know a lot of you were expecting him to come back. I, to be honest, I never thought he was going to come back. Mm. Uh, so it's very difficult to take a leopard, specifically a male, out of environment. Now you realise if we had to, if you had to be reintroduced somewhere else. He would be in another male's territory and he'd probably be killed. Mm. Uh, and also, one of the biggest problems about taking a captive animal like that and re-releasing it into the wild is not that they don't know how to hunt. He's fully capable of hunting, uh, but he'll be a bit unfit. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, but, so, but he, he bit the dog and he got r rabies. He right? didn't get rabies. Didn't um, get he, rabies. he went on to vaccinations. So, uh, it's... I want to say, sorry, Sammy, can, can you outrun Brent? Sorry, just can you that. outrun James in a sprint? Well... I probably no. James is quick. Uh, then, James. then, then he can't outrun me because I can outrun James. Well, let's have a competition. Well, let first me wait for my hip operation to be over right. first. Okay. We'll <laughs> okay. have a race. After, after, after my lung, uh, uh, after hip operation. <laughs> Hi, Rosanne. So, Howdy, Pat. Howdy, Ellen. Eleanor. Okay. Do you want to tell it? Yes. Um, Eleanor says she keeps missing the story about the elephant and my hip. Um, well, uh, it was, happened about two years ago. I was in uh, central Gabon in an area called Luongo National Park and we were walking uh, between our river camp and our beach camp and uh, two helicopters flew across and scared a little breeding herd of elephants and they charged right into us and I had some other people with me. So I pushed uh, the volunteer out of the way and uh, the elephant came through and just whacked me with, with, with her trunk. Jeez. and. Um, I flew into a tree Ew. and dislocated my hip. 
and uh, and then that threw my fishing rod at yeah. the elephant, and I think the noise of the fishing rods rattling gave the elephant a fright. Yeah, no, um, that, that doesn't sound like the nicest no. thing. No, yeah. and then afterwards I had to get two of the Gabonese guys who were working for me to kneel and push my hip back in, and then walk uh, about eight kilometers down to the beach where I could get a helicopter out to go to the doctor and see what was wrong, but no one picked up on the injury then. So Brent's a proper safari man. He gets taken down by elephants, eh? so be careful walking through oh. the bush. Veronique? Good, Good evening. evening guys. Why don't we equip Karula with a tracking collar? Well, that's a good question. Sam? Why do you... Well, I mean, we don't need to. We can track exactly. them. We can track so them. Uh, there's no need we can track them. Uh, she's habituated. We're not trying to sort of try habituate the animal. And it is a bit of invasive. And if we don't need to be invasive with the animals, no, we don't, we, we don't, we don't have to. to. And yeah. we can get enough from Karula without a tracking collar. And to be honest, it, it makes that experience that much greater, you know? You know instead of using you know, a collar to go and find something, to be able to find something that makes that experience so much more richer, at least I believe. Yeah. Eileen says, happy birthday, Sam. Hers is on the 18th. Oh, no worries. Um, happy birthday to you, Ellen Talbot. Who is it? Ellen who? Um, Talbot. Tal Talbot. Have a great birthday. I really hope and, you have a good one. And then, uh, Donna, what is Jamie's degree in? Hmm. <laughs> in law, believe it or not. So, Jamie has a master's in law from Cambridge. Sam, can we see your garden? Yes, can we bring, bring the torch? I'll bring it here. I thought your garden was planted. No, no, that's where the spinach and the, and the other stuff are going to go. Maybe Apparently you know. there's more than one garden. Sam even has a mobile garden. We can, we can show them the trailers. Yes. Okay, so there we go. Let's Here get the is. torch. There's Sam's garden. Oh, no, we've got to turn the other way around. So this is the garden, everybody. Do you know what species you are growing there? So this is actually a sunflower. Oh. This is a sunflower plant over here, everyone. So this has been growing out of from Earth Day when I grew this. It's incredible to see how it's grown over the few days. So it's really easy to make your own plants. And I saw that someone has been making quite a few of these plants as well. I've got a few in my, in my inbox. So well done, everyone, for doing so, that. They're sunflowers. They're edible. Can I eat them? Do you want to eat them? I'll have a little, oh. have a little nibble of that. <laughs> That's not too bad. <laughs> sunflowers are my favorite. Can I have one when it blooms? So? Yes. Jerry says one. sunflowers are her favorite. <laughs> she wants to have one. And then we've got Louise. Who's his boyfriend, Marcus, and then Rebecca's hiding at the Hello, end of the Rebecca. day. And she only waves like the Queen. You see, Rebecca only waves like the Queen. <laughs> and then we've got Eugene uh, down there, and VM. Oh, VM ran away into his room. Yeah, 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 yeah. the lion spotted. Yeah. Well yes. Awesome. Oh, well, I don't want to do that. Okay, okay so, so let's. Sorry, we. Let's have it. Let's go all the way down to the bottom lots again. Lots sorry, of lots of comments. We're trying to get to all of them. Happy birthday for tomorrow. Thank you so much, dear. I really appreciate it. It's going to be fantastic. What else is there? Uh, who's that? Dawn? Dawn, do I have a garden? Uh, I have an impala lily and three calanchas. That comes some three calanchas? Yes, narrow leaf calanchas. It's, well, you'll see it during winter. It's our only uh, real winter flowering plant we get really? in the Sabi Sands, the succulent. Yeah. Yeah. Is it like red? Is it yes, red. red. Yeah. Like, it looks so like a bit know. like a, fire, uh, um, yeah, a red hot poker. Really, really beautiful. Here we go, that's that's where we go. Thank you very much, Ellen Smith, for the oh, for all of us. Tom. Ellen Smith, that's awesome. Yes, Thank and you. and thanks for the recovery. I hope it's speedy too. And congrats to Jamie for her um <laughs> ah, Cheryl Adorn says, Sam, I hope you stay dry tomorrow. I don't know if do Sam about knows about that. So we're just gonna shh. We're not gonna tell Sam any more about that. What was that about? No, uh, I also uh, hope it rains tomorrow. I mean, that's why. We, that's why we. That's what we mean. That's what we mean. It's all about the rain. Yeah. Uh, Mike yeah. and Kathy, can you mow? Info, please. Kunyuma can info, please. There. No, Kunyuma. Kunyuma, no, he's a male leopard. He was from Karula's last successful letter. Oh, awesome. I'm, I know he's been seen on London Lozi recently, so he's to the south of us. So it looks like he's going to be setting up territory, unfortunately, out of our traverse area. Mm. Fiona, thank you. Thank you. You know Michaela, my stepmom. That's awesome. From the UK, it's incredible how many people are from such diverse areas here. You are both handsome dudes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Hey? <laughs> Yeah. 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 yeah, well done. We're both yes. pretty stoked with you for saying that. Well, a lot. There we go. Dai says wear a, sa a raincoat tomorrow, Sam. Why? Why? Because yeah. <laughs> it's gonna rain. Because <laughs> I did a rain dog. Yes. Yeah. Um, tomorrow is the forecast. Tomorrow it's gonna rain. 
Okay, Lacko. Is See, that, even Becky Becky Hilbert knows about the birthday tradition, Sam. So. Okay, so obviously it's not going to rain tomorrow. Oh, it, it might. Is what is it? A tradition? What are yes. you guys doing? It rains on your birthday. Okay. Okay. Birthday. Sam, what would you choose for a birthday? birthday. Did, you see, Kathy, did you see that? Kathy, Kathy Shaw. Um, loving this chat. You guys are so relaxed. I would love to party with you. <laughs> I live in the northern US. We'd love to party with you too, Kathy. Yeah. It's quite a far way to come though. One day you can. Sam, what will you choose for your birthday supper? I'm not too sure. I know that I really love mushrooms. I know that, like, that's <laughs> random, but like, you really want those big not, mushrooms. Not those mushrooms, guys. He means oh, no, like, like edible proper, mushrooms. No, yeah, no, no, real mushrooms. Big proper mushrooms with cheese on it and maybe some pesto <laughs> and yeah, some liquor food, eh? Who knows what we'll get? <laughs> Oh, yeah, we've seen. had over 300 viewers. I think this, we might be uh, record, broken. record broken. There we go. Fiona says, have you Sorry, seen Dad. the fl film Bloodlines? Yes, my father made that, Fiona. We had that last night a movie. Yes, yeah, we, we watched. had a movie night last night. We all watched it. Yeah, we all watched that. Interesting movie. And I wasn't about it to movie night. Okay, love all the, <laughs> <laughs> the Ellie's. There were loads Jokes. of Ellie's on drive. <laughs> there were. Okay. Someone loves you, Brent. <laughs> Sunshine <laughs> Jenkins. Thanks, Sunshine. <laughs> um, <laughs> Someone loves you, Brent. Uh, Thanks, Sunshine. Any Bush birthday traditions of local people? Well, there are a few, but uh, then no, not really that I can think of. Well, then I have to get Amanda out here. Maybe we'll get Amanda out here tomorrow, mm -hmm. and yes, she can tell us. And Amanda's our there chef. If she can tell us if there are any um, Bush traditions for Sam's birthday, and maybe we might even be able to do one tomorrow. Yeah, yeah we'll have to see. <laughs> I don't, want, I don't know what to do tomorrow. Yeah. Whoa, so many comments, guys. Thank you so much. Um, Carol, pleasure. Uh, Angelina, pleasure, always a pleasure. pleasure. Big pleasures, everyone. <coughs> Prince blushing all over. Hey, Prince. I'm not blushing. It's a bit Blush of sun. You? It's a sunburn. Oh, it's the sunburn. But anyway, guys, unfortunately, uh, we've come to the end of our a little live mm. after drive segment. Mm. We didn't actually talk a little bit too much about drive, so we'll do that very quickly yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Lots so, of elephants? Yeah, well, I, so I came out p quite late early. I was in a little bit like trying to figure out what was going on and where I should go. And we came across the most beautiful b breeding herd of elephants. It was so awesome. We were patient enough to let them come across us and see them. So I enjoyed that. And then we looked for a bush baby. didn't quite find one. But how was your drive, Brent? It was very pleasant. <laughs> Although the first, the first hour was devoid of any live animals. I, mean, I think we had two dwarf mongoose and a grey diker. Mm. And then we skedaddled to quarantine, and then we found lots. But it was very nice. It was nice to have a school drive. No cat tracks. And I know because I checked almost every road on Juma this evening. So hopefully Karula or lions or something will come yeah. back. Mm. Hopefully uh, those lions morning. from mm. this morning will cross back in. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, so it's, that's, the, it, that's it. Thank Thanks, you Thanks, guys. Man. And lovely to chat to you. And we will see you we'll tomorrow see you on the 17th of May. Yes, on Sam's birthday yeah. for the Sunrise Safari in a few short hours. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Bye, Cheers guys. Everyone. See you later.